Howdy, neighbors. I'm Ron Hayes. Had the opportunity on Tuesday, April 19th, to look at several wheat fields uh, really rolling from Oklahoma City up through Okarchi, and then Kingfisher, Hennessy into Enid on US 81, and then eastward on 412 over to Highway State Highway 74 south through the Covington area, and then points south from there on uh, making a turn over 51 over towards Stillwater. As we looked at wheat fields, we did make some stops, and we saw a lot of fields both from the road and then when we stopped that were very spotty like this particular field that we're looking at uh, right now. Uh, a lot of uh, places where you simply can still see the, the rows. Uh, you can uh, still see a lot of bare ground and just a, a lot, of, uh, lot of problems right now uh, with this wheat that simply uh, needs a, ba- a drink of water so badly. These are the type of fields that are already heading out that are very, very, uh, uh, very small and uh, simply do not have much of a chance to make much of a wheat crop. We also saw some fields that had some white heads in them, and we understand that uh, that may well be from, from, from some freeze damage that, uh, that we're starting to see in some locations. Did see some fields that have got some good wheat, some thicker stands, and uh, they are short. They're already headed out. But uh, with a drink of water, will those heads fill on out and make a few more bushels of grain? That's the question mark. This particular field just north of Hennessy on a US-81, we also saw some really some good-looking wheat that was very short but also headed out uh, right now in, uh, in the Covington area on State Highway 74. Bottom line right now is that uh, we've got a lot of, uh, lot of issues with this wheat crop, and uh, there's a lot of concern. If we do get some rain over the next few days, That may help a lot of fields. A lot of fields, though, in even north central Oklahoma, north of Interstate 40, may be on the point of no return. I'm Ron Hayes.